Well, this will be part two of offering some tips to young brothers and sisters in Christ um, on how to uh, dethrone worry, how to help conquer worry. Worry and fear, they go hand in hand. Um, we were teaching out of uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verses 18 through 20 in the part one clip, and we're going to continue with that. Uh, again, Ephesians 5, 18 through 20, let's start uh, with verse 18, do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery, or um, there's some other words, but basically what God is saying, when you're worrying, and you're fretful, you're fearful, you're depressed, you are extremely discouraged, uh, on and on and on, those things that uh, pull us down emotionally. God is saying, um, uh, here's what to do. Be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. And, you know, getting drunk on wine, uh, that was what God uh, had people, people were, let me just say, that's what people had to help forget their troubles uh, back 2,000 years ago when scriptures were written. Well, 2,000 plus years later, we have medications to help us with depression. We have uh, mind-altering substances. We smoke it. We inject it. We drink it. We, we've got, they've got all kinds of different ways to help try to alter the mind. Most people take drug altering substances because they're unhappy. They want to escape. And I understand that. That's not a put down. But God is contrasting with mind controlling substances um, that we drink or ingest into our body. Instead, be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord. And then this is the part two. Always giving thanks to God, the Father, for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Always giving thanks. My friend, if you hear nothing else, if you ever, ever hear nothing else about being thankful, please Tell yourself this, memorize it, don't ever let it slip from your mind. Thanksgiving is a weapon that God has given us to walk in greater peace and joy in our relationship with Him. It's a weapon. It is a spiritual weapon. It is a very powerful spiritual weapon to help us... <clears throat> counter uh, the onslaught of the devils that are assigned to us to rob us of peace and joy. Helping us not to get trapped into this prison of worry and or fear. Doubts as well. Now, <clears throat> it's really important at this moment in time, you may be saying, <laughs> Give thanks to God for all the evil going on around you. Thanks, God, that little kids are getting killed down the block and people are getting shot and you know, war is ravishing innocent people and all the evil going on in politics. I'm going to give thanks for that. No, that I don't believe that's what God is saying. Now, God can use evil and turn it around for his good, his glory, and uh, he can do that. He's a miracle working God, but I do not believe for a second that that's what God is telling us to be thankful for. Um, for you young Bible scholars, just realize that a wise way that God wants us to interpret Scripture is to let Scripture give illumination to Scripture when it's needed. And I believe God has done that. Uh, we need to look at the whole counsel of God's word in a given subject before we come up with conclusions. Satan wants to take us one, take a take one little scripture and build an entire doctrinal position on that, and that's where the cults proliferate, uh, quoting Bible out of a misinterpretation 
applying it in a wrong way, so to speak. So let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. And I believe this gives more pointed clarity to giving thanks for all things. Uh, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Be thankful in all circumstances. See, it's an attitude. It's a mindset. It is a spiritual weapon. And God wants us to, to maintain an attitude of thanksgiving in all things so that it doesn't rob us of our joy, our peace, our confidence in Him. That's why He's saying, Adopt an attitude of thanksgiving is crucial. All of the things that God has told us to do in the New Testament, all the commands, if you can see it through warfare glasses, weaponry glasses, they are all designed to hinder Satan from robbing us of all that God wants us to have, life and life more abundantly. Joy and joy more abundantly in the midst of very difficult circumstances that we may find ourselves in. I love it. What do we do when Paul was in prison and he was been beaten and cold and starving? He's praising God. He's being thankful to God. For being in that situation? No, I don't think that's why he was praising and thanking God. He was using the two weapons that he knew would keep him from feeling sorry for himself, upset at God. God, why am I in this prison? I'm trying to do your will. Here I am. I'm beaten. I'm starving. I'm freezing to death. Can't, you know, getting sick and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. God is, by the Holy Spirit and by the wisdom that God had given Paul, he's praising and thanking God in the midst of that hell so that he continues to walk in the Spirit. So the devil isn't robbing Paul of the joy and peace. We could go on and on and on and on about that, but my friend, having an attitude of thanksgiving daily, moment by moment, is something we all should strive to. To be doing to the best of our ability because it is a spiritual weapon God has given us to keep from robbing us of our joy and peace in our relationship with the Holy Spirit God the Father Jesus Christ I think we'll end it there thanks for hearing me out God bless